What is going on YouTube fam? Toothless Timmy here shooting another high adventure video. So a little backstory for why I'm missing one of my teeth. Uh, 10 years ago when I was in high school, my front tooth actually got completely knocked out. And the doctor at the time just literally took the whole tooth and just shoved it right back up, up in my head. And uh, he told me in about 10 or 12 years, I'm gonna need a more permanent solution. Well, fast forward 10 years, and we're starting down the road to a more permanent solution. A week ago, I had the tooth removed and a screw and an anchor installed in my jaw. So now we're just on the road to recovery. And what better way to recover than to get out on the river and fish? Yeah, there's not gonna be any whistling. No whistling for me for a while. So I do actually have a denture that they gave me. Unfortunately, my gum is still too swollen uh, for me to install the denture yet. So it's gonna probably be another week or so before the swelling dies down and uh, I can fill in the space uh, in my head. But we gotta do what we gotta do. The show must go on, right? There we go. Just got a nice little white piece of shrimp. Little, little uh, split shot there. And what that split shots do is gonna hit the bottom. That shrimp should be off the bottom a little bit and just kind of bounce along the bottom like that. Hopefully those trout will just nip it up. This time of year, it, the fishing is super, super difficult. We're like middle end of the winter. Um, and it's just, the fish just are not very active here in Idaho. Normally I like to rely on my fishing prowess not using bait to catch fish. I'm not too proud to throw on some bait this time of year because I wanna catch something when I go out. Here we go, let's get it started. Fish some riffles into some deeper water. I just cast it upstream and let it bounce down. Oh, that might be a bite right there. Nope, that was a rock. Huh, nothing in this stretch. It's a little bit fast moving through here. Let's go find a little bit more lazy stretch of the river a little further down. Drift on down there, shrimpy. There's a bite. Got him. Oh, he's a good fish. Good fish right here. Good fish right here. Yep, 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 yep. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Yep. I think this is a bow. Yeah, this is a pretty bow. Pretty bow. Yeah. Just load it on. Just load it on. Come on. Come on, yes, look at that. Oh, that's a pretty fish. That's a pretty fish right there. All right, guys, sweet. Probably a good 13 and a half inches or so. Woo, oh yeah, that's pretty. That's real pretty. Hook, boom, right in the bottom of the jaw, pops out. What I'm actually gonna do, this water's so cold, is I have a backpack in here. Or not a backpack, of course I have my backpack. That's a, a no dur statement, but I have my knife here. We're gonna go ahead and get this guy field dressed right now, and then uh, we'll just keep him with us as we fish uh, until we get some more fish, until we decide to eat. So what I've done, I always dispatch him before I start cutting it all, obviously trying to be humane. I just take a big old rock, hit him in the head. That's the quickest, easiest way to get him gone. Look at this guy's guts, they are full. Wow, a bunch of green stuff, just eating a bunch of slime. Look at that, yuck. There we go, just like that. There we go. I forgot I brought some twine with me. Fishing for about a little over an hour, I would say. Finally got one, that's a good sign. We're not gonna have many opportunities today just because these fish are gonna be sluggish, so we gotta take advantage every time we get an opportunity. And we took advantage right there, that's awesome. Guys, we have had an unfortunate accident. Uh, my rod tip broke. Just straight busted. I have no idea how that happened. Oh, mama, that's not good. If I had some duct tape with me, that's what we, we'd just uh, use the handyman's secret weapon, but that is straight gonzos. I'm gonna have to fish the rest of the day without a rod tip. I didn't need this fishing trip to get any more difficult, but uh, breaking my rod tip just made it a lot more difficult. And a St. Croix rod isn't exactly a cheap rod to have break. That burns, guys. This, that really, really stinks. 
Oh, I think that was a bite. There's something else lurking down there. Come on. Got him. Got him. There we go. Sweet fish number two. I knew he was something else was down there. I think this is another pretty bow. Another pretty bow. Yep, yep. Come here. I think it is. No, it's a brown trout. It's a nice little brown trout. Hey, that's awesome. And I'm getting great hook sets. Look at, look at, check this out though. Check this out. It's got like a chunk taken out of him right there. Look at that. Looks like maybe the beak of a bird got a plug of him. There we go. Yeah, check that out. Big old chunk right out of there. That's crazy. Looks like, yeah, definitely looks like maybe a bird got him. It's a pretty one. Let her swim free though. Want something a little bigger than that. All right, we're right in the bang zone. Come on. There he is. Boom. Oh, it just came up and nailed it. Just came up and nailed it. Popped it off of that log, and she just came up and popped it. Look at that. There we go. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice fish. I think it's a rainbow. Hey, stop, 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 stop. No, it's a big old brown. It's a big old brown. Come on. Oh, she's, she's all wrapped around. Look at this. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my, that's a good 16, 17 inch rain, brown trout right there. It was, that's a lot darker color than what I'm used to. That's a good 16 inch brown trout. It was a lot darker than I'm used to. I'm mean, usually you can see those yellow colors pretty, uh, pretty clearly. So I thought it was kind of, I thought it was a bow, but no, that's a, that's a nice brown trout. That's a good size. Like I said, that's probably a good 16 inches. She started to wrap all up in that line. And I thought she might pop the hook. She's totally, completely wrapped around here. There we go. Look at this. Check this out. That hook, just all oh, look at that. Just right on the tip. Right on the tip. I wasn't going to be able to fight her very long. Look at that. Yeah. That's a pretty, that's, actually, that's not real pretty. That's a pretty scrappy brown trout. Sweet, guys. I think we'll go ahead and keep and eat this one right here. There we go. Oh, man, she's got some teeth on her. Look at that. Nice. We got some fish now. I got kind of a fun recipe in mind today. And this, that fish right there should be perfect. All right, guys, let's get back out there. Let's see if there's an even bigger piggy down there. There's another bite right there. Oh, I just missed him. Guys, we got, we've got something down there. There's, there's, a, there's a piece of structure or something down there that's, that's holding some fish. Because I just de definitely got popped again. It hits that slack water down there. And then I just kind of watch my line, wait to watch it, see if it starts to jump like right there. Got him. Got him. This feels like another solid fish. Another solid fish. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, run up into the shallows. This is awesome. This fish is all over the place. I don't even know what it is yet. What do we got? What do we got? We got another brown trout, I think. Yeah, another brown. Another brown. Getting tangled up again. There we go. Sweet. Look at that. A little bit smaller. This one's probably about 14 inches. But just another another fish just right down there. Man, we got a honey hole here, guys. A nice... Oh, look. The hook came out. The hook came out. And I think he just got tangled up in the line. Because the line was wrapped around him a few times. The hook is literally in his... Just, just barely in his side. I've got a woodpecker above me. You are just like barely right in the skin. There we go. I'm going to just pop him out right there. There you go. You're free to go. Free to, maybe. Allegedly. Do it other way. There we go. Nice. Sweet, guys. A little honey hole going on here. Let's get back down there and see if we make it three for three. Wow. This is just Trout City right through here. It's just the perfect area. I mean, this has all just been in this little like 20 yard stretch from, I've got another like 20, 30 yard stretch here that looks pretty dang good. I haven't even tapped into yet. Oh, there's a bite. That's a bite right there. Got him. No, I missed him. Just missed him. Right under that tree. Right under that tree. Called it. Called it. There's the peck right there. There it is. There's the bite. There's the bite. No, come on. Got him. Got him. There we go. <laughs> nice. Right, right by that tree. Right by that tree. I'll bet this is another brown. 
No, 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 no. I think I see some rainbow colors on this one. I think we see the little bow colors on this. Am I right? Oh man, just another pretty bow. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Oh, that's a fatty. This is a little, little fatty right here. Look at this. I'll call these a football, football trout. There he is. Look at that. Awesome. Sweet, guys. We're just crushing it in this section. Got that hook popped out. That's probably a nice 13 incher right there. Little fatty McFaddersville. There she goes. Nice. Let's get back down there. This is nuts. Gonna go five for five right here, calling it. There's the bite, there's the bite. <laughs> this shrimp is just putting in work. Work. Oh, that looks like a brown. Good night of living. No rod tip, no problem. We are just in, this is a legit honey hole right here. All solid fish too. This is another like 12 and a half inch right there. Brownie. All right. Another like 12 inch. There she goes. Sweet. Wow, am I actually gonna have a cast where I don't catch a fish? Kind of surprised right now. It's not over yet though. Oh, that, okay, that had to be a bite right there. Yep, <laughs> right there. <laughs> Ooh, this might be a solid fish. Ooh, you a fish fish. Okay, this might be a bit that piggy we've been after. Let's loosen that up a little bit. There we go. That's, we might be cooking here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, yeah, a little bit bigger fish. We got bigger fish here. Brownie, yep, definitely. Look at this, here we go. This is pretty right here. Look at that. There's a fishy right there. That's awesome. There's some pretty colors on that. I love that that hooked jaw there. They've got a little bit more of a hooked jaw, some of these do. Well, that's a pretty fish. Brown trout are just one of the prettiest trout. One of the prettiest fish I've ever caught. That is so cool. She got plenty of spunk. There she goes. There she goes, get bigger. Well guys, we have caught a substantial amount of fish out of this one little hole. I could keep fishing here and probably plug another eight or nine, but it's about lunchtime. I got my fish with me here. I think we're gonna find a nice little spot along this bank here and cook up some fresh trout. I got kind of a fun recipe idea that I'm gonna try to execute. So let's go get a little fire going, get some food. There we go, this looks like a fair spot. I think we'll make a little little fire pit here with all the river rock. Let's cook some fish. It can be difficult sometimes to get these fires going, even though it's been dry for a little bit. Just the sheer cold temperatures because it's still getting into the teens at night. Sometimes this wood won't catch, but we were a one match, one, well, okay, we were a two match wonder today. My first match broke, so, but I don't count him. So I've just done a, a simple cleaning on the brown trout. I filleted up the smaller rainbow trout, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna season the rainbow trout. I think probably with some Cajun seasoning, we're gonna stuff it in the body cavity of the brown trout and then season the outside of the brown trout with a different seasoning and kind of just have a medley of, I don't know, just flavors and all the goings on. We're gonna cut a few slits here in the body of the brown trout on either side that way. That'll allow that seasoning that I put on it to kind of get into the meat. The meat on the rainbow trout like isn't super pink, not uh, not the greatest. Brown trout, I would say, is even uh, even lighter, but it's just a little more hearty, and I like that. Tastes really good. Right now, we're building up a nice berm of embers for our, from our fire. Next, what I want to do here is we're gonna get this foil laid out, this trout laid in it. Next, we'll grab our seasoning. I think what I am gonna do, we're gonna add a little kick on the inside. We're gonna do some. Cajun seasoning to the little trout fillets. There we go. 
Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna take some twine here, and this is how we're gonna kind of close them up. Just tie them up. Make a little knot there at the end. There we go. There's our Cajun trout stuffed in our fish. Nice and neatly. Now for the outside of this fish, I have a little bit of canola oil, or cannoli oil as I call it. And we're just gonna rub that gently into the trout. Now for the outside of this trout, I think we're going to do a little mixture of lemon pepper and Johnny seafood seasoning. And we'll just sprinkle that right on the skin of the fish. Flip him and do the same on the other side here. Sweet. Now we're just gonna fold this up. Oh yeah. Just like that. Just like that, perfect. Now we have fish ready for the fire. So we'll kind of keep the fire going on the outside. And we're just gonna lay this guy right in the middle. Whoop. Hip, hop, boom, just like that. Now we'll just kind of keep the fire going on either side of him and we'll let him cook. That should cook pretty quickly. There are just a ton of crows and all the trees around me. I kept an eye on my fish while I was cleaning it and everything because I was a little worried that they were gonna come down and, and take it from me, but I don't know why there are so many just like right in this area. Here's our fish, looking good. We'll give that probably about 15 minutes or so in there, and then we'll be ready to eat. I might give it a little bit longer just because it is stuffed with more fish. Make sure that that trout gets cooked as well, but I'm ready to eat. It's, it's like past one o'clock, and I've been tromping up and down this river all morning, so I'm hungry. All right, look at that. Gonna let all our ashes burn down here. You know what? Uh, sometimes this foil doesn't conduct heat. Oh, look at that. That's crazy. I can just grab that. I'm not secretly getting burned, am I? No. I think we're good. We're just gonna lift that right out. Oh, check this out. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. You can see that stuffed fish in there. Woo! That looks good. That's definitely cooked to perfection. That eye turns that weird milky white. That's rather disturbing. <sighs> oh, this has been a labor of love, that's for sure. I didn't bring a fork or a knife or anything because I'm out in the woods, man. You just kind of Robin Hood style this. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at that right there. Oh, that brown trout is so good. It don't get any fresher than this. I'm kind of eating my way to the inside of this fish here so I can get to the Cajun seasoned trout. There's that Cajun rainbow trout right here. All right. Oh, that is nuts. That is nuts. And when I mean nuts, that is so good. Got a bit of brown trout right here and some rainbow trout together. Oh. Mmm. That is so good. Mm. Oh. Today is a good day. All right. Here we go. Picked clean. Man, that was good. All right, guys, back at the honey hole for one last trip down memory lane here. I'm still not convinced there isn't a big old piggy lurking somewhere down here. See if we can plug a porker right at the end of the day. <laughs> That's a fish. Got him. First cast. First cast. Good grief. <laughs> this, this place is nuts. Good fight, man. These browns, they are just tenacious. Oh, what a great word, tenacious. There we go. Just perfectly. Pretty fish. There you go. No, other way. I know it's a little muddy, you can't see. There's the fire. There she goes. There's a bite. There it is. There she is. This might be the big one we're after. 
yep, right in that deep pool. Here we go. This this might be our piggy piggy. Oh, she's running right towards me. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> That's a little bit better right there. There we go. I think it's a bow. I think it's a bow. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, it's not massive, but that right there is a solid rainbow trout. That's a solid rainbow trout. There we go. That's a good 16 inch rainbow. It's about the size of that brown trout that we caught. That right there. That's pretty good fight. I knew there had to be at least a little bit bigger fish down there. And that's not shabby. Just toss her right back in. There she goes. There she goes. Nice. I think that's a fish. Got him. Yep. That was a fish. Just munching on it. Just munching. Wow, guys. What a stretch of river. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is like another 16-inch bow right here. Look at this. Yep. Boom. Oh, my word. That is cool. That's another just pretty, pretty fish. Sweet. There's the bite. Got him. Got him. Whoa, there's a brownie. There's a brownie. Tail walker. Nice. Nice. Not a bad fish either. Look at that. Woo! Woo! There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the big old spots on that one. That's probably about a good 14 to 15 inches. Oh, drop her right back in. They have to just be stacked down there. This is crazy. What a crazy spot. Well, YouTube fam, the sun is starting to go down and so is the temperature. I could probably sit there and catch like another 20 fish. I mean, it's been nuts. I think I ended up catching like somewhere between like 16 to 20 fish just in that little 25 yard stretch. That was crazy. They were stacked down there. Hopefully in the next video, I will have the gap in my teeth filled in. But until then, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.